welcome to the finest soccer specific stadium in North America. We have Major League Soccer for you on KSMO. Once again, Sporting Kansas City hosting DC United. One that stands out is up top, the absence of Dwayne De Rosario and Charlie Davies not even on the dress list. As a result, Josh Wolf and Brett Schneider up top. We'll see what they can do against the Sporting Kansas City back line. Omar Bravo is a, has a huge impact on this team, but how can he do in that attacking midfield role? We've only seen him do it a couple times so far this season, but when you're feeding guys like Sapong, Kamara, and Bunbury, you're going to be in good shape. Davies and Dwayne De Rosario, arguably the greatest duo up top in attacking, not playing tonight. I gotta assume it's to give them rest from the game on Thursday evening, but it's something the Sporting Kansas City defense can take lightly and also need to exploit with the firepower on the bench. From Livestrong Sporting Park, Sporting KC are on the attack once again. Here's Myers, ball played in Kamara! A superbly directed header from Kai Kamara. And he hits the crossbar, and DC are very much off the hook. But we just mentioned it a couple minutes ago. Chance Myers coming up the flank. A one-touch ball from CJ Sapong, and Myers puts that thing up, looks for the big man, number 23, and Kai Kamara, one of the one of the better headers of the ball in Major League Soccer, is able to get up, contorts it, switches it back. As it will come across the cover, Seth Sinovic. He plays a superb ball down the left-hand side. Here's Omar Bravo. Whips a rather tasty-looking ball in. Headed away towards the edge, and Kai Kamara thought about the first time shot, gets it off anyway, and absolutely buries it into the bottom corner. Kai Kamara is in seventh heaven, his seventh goal of the season, makes it Sporting Kansas City 1, DC United 0. And we say it on a handful of occasions throughout every single match, Kai Kamara is one of those players, you give him just a shred of daylight and he will exploit you. It starts here, Omar Bravo with a great ball in, both players fight, and it's tipped out to Kamara, one touch to the side, whip it around, thanks for playing. Kai Kamara, his seventh goal of the season, is an absolute beaut. Just look how hard he hits that. Sporting KC then will thank their lucky star, the shot coming in from the left of the penalty area and Jimmy Nelson once again coming up with the goods a superb save tipped away to the left and away removing the imminent danger it's possessed by Zussi Quarasa on the charge again as the ball comes over the top ball to the edge De Rosario he's an instant threat Played less than 10 minutes, and already he's threatened Jimmy Nielsen's goal. Well, and it's not just that shot from Dwayne De Rosario. It's it's the entire impact and the entire mentality it seems to have changed for DC United. Very attack-minded now so far early on in the second half. They're the ones pushing the issue, getting the numbers forward, and putting Sporting Kansas City on their heels to start the second 45. Spinoza battling as he usually does. Zussi charges forward. Full thread through. This is Teal Bunbury. Opportunity goes beckoning. The last hit challenge there from Jakovic, denying Teal Bunbury. A fortunate circumstance there for Sporting Kansas City as Graham Zusi really takes on three or four guys. They all commit to Graham Zusi to try to stop that initial run. He pokes the ball through, takes a touch off, off DC United defender Daniel Woolard, and he puts it right in the path of Teal Bunbury. Unfortunately, not able to get a shot on goal. Sapong, Spinoza, finds Kai Kamara, Kamara, and also be great and Susie with the drive, not saved by the goalkeeper, and he just about saved and tipped away by Joe Willis, a good save from the rookie, but a really good opportunity for Graham Zussi. And almost for the second time in, in less than a week, Graham Zussi gets that ball from distance on his right foot, takes one touch to the side, gets behind it and lets it loose. Joe Willis, good, Joe Willis, good positioning, able to parry that over the bar, resulting in another corner kick for Sporting. Kitchen. All played in. Comes out with an awful clearance and a low drive. He's easily saved by Jimmy Nelson. He watched it all the way to the Danish stopper. And once again, the ball is into his graceful arms. Well, the ball pushed in there and a, and a great battle from Julio Cesar and Chris Pontius. And 
Coranta's right there to pick up the rebound and, and sends a low shot. And we've seen the conditions of the field and how it has impacted the game so far. Sometimes that low driven shot might be the best might be the best choice for the offensive players tonight. Fullwood. Turn to DC is taking quickly. Conscious was expecting that, but either way the ball comes in towards that back stick. Nahar across the face of goal, so maybe has to clear away and does so. And then Myers tidies up. Desperate defender from Sporting KC. Well, it's a great ball from Chris Pontius, and it's really a name we haven't really called too much tonight. He's been one of the key figures in this resurgence of DC United. And his first touch. Myers bursting forward into fifth gear. Down the right-hand side. Myers. A low drive! He's over the bar for Chance Myers. Opportunity goes back in for Sporting KC. A rush of blood to the head for Myers then, Jake. A great job of Chance Myers by coming up and helping Kai Kamara towards midfield. And he's able to poke that ball through and eventually create his own run. Gets about 40, 50 yards upfield. Still no DC players in sight. And takes a shot from just outside the box. So with the last chance for DC United, you feel. It's come all the way through for Jimmy Nielsen. And we've had the three minutes of stoppage time. Referee still allowing play to continue. Nielsen with the ball forward. And there we have it. What a win for Sporting KC in their promotion push, in their playoff push.